Okay, I'm gonna do it like this. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. I'm Carisha Longacre. I'm Sarah Nutting. We live in Nevada City, California. And together we are Mommy. 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 For both of us, the music from the beginning has been a tool and a way to get in to ourselves and to understand the inner landscape and what's going on. Like, how do I understand myself through these songs that I'm writing? And, um, and that's shifted a bit, and it's fun to play with that too and to understand that now when I write, sometimes, often now, there is that, how is this going to translate and then bring healing to places that need that. And, I know for myself, I never quite imagined that I would be sharing in this way on a stage or like in front of people, but it's what's come, it's the invitation that life has given and, and there's a joy in that as well. first playing together it was on our front porch it was in the neighborhood it was in a way that was like oh this is just us and we realized like well it seems like people like this not sure mm -hmm. why people are moved by what we're doing should we keep going through it and at that time we both had songs were coming really quickly to both of us so we had a lot of material to work with mm -hmm. and it just seemed like we showed up and we got the validation and we got the invitations and we got the encouragement from those around us that weren't just family members trying to be nice <laughs> and be our cheerleaders.
I feel like in some ways it was a really innocent and natural progression from just being in our songwriting and in our own process to feeling like there was this invitation that was coming from the outside to then really feeling like this is fun and this is what we do and it's actually bringing beauty to a lot of people Mm -hmm. and oh that's actually needed right now Mm -hmm. in the world and oh people are reflecting that to be given permission to simply be themselves Mm -hmm. and to enjoy and to be with life in a way that's slower that's embodied that's appreciating the beauty that's being with the earth and gathering inspiration from the earth and then giving back through song is like that that's allowed feels like that is a lot of what we are given as Mm. reflection and it feels like what inspires me to keep doing it in some ways because it feels like it is needed this song is called um great spirit's hands and simply put it's a song about life and death and the connection of both and how both are to be celebrated in each and our own ways a training in how to lead community choir Mm -hmm. for the purpose of how do we have the tools now to get up Mm -hmm. and lead and to bring people into their voice and into their body and to feel Mm -hmm. empowered to share and to feel woven together with Mm -hmm. their people Mm -hmm. Um, that's big part of what's been coming through lately is is going to gatherings to learn songs or researching songs it's like what's a singable song Mm -hmm. what's something that we can all share that we can feel connected Mm -hmm. and a way yeah a way to connect in in a simple uplifting way how many Mm -hmm. of us just feel this deep longing to to be heard and Mm -hmm. to be heard together and be reflected back and just be Mm -hmm. in harmony and rhythm and there's something in sharing in that way that is Mm -hmm. deeply nourishing to the body Mm -hmm. so I feel um, that's that's really alive right now too because people want to sing with us. Yeah. They want to sing with each <laughs> other. And that was like, oh, a huge discovery. And, yeah. And so it's been fun. Um, oftentimes we love sharing our music in homes. So house concerts are a big, um, That's popular a venue. Yeah. yeah. We often will be in people's homes. And 
more and more it's like great we're going to teach a song maybe we didn't write it but we'll teach it and we'll all sing together or we'll bring people in to sing with us on the chorus and a room full of people singing together is just pure joy totally satisfying yeah. <laughs> and the song sharing it feels like is a is a growth edge right now there is a river in this heart of hearts with knowingness of my highest good. I am willing, I will do my part where the river will never run dry. I want to let myself be loved. I love my muse because there is a delicate sweetness to their music and because um, it can give you the chills up your spine when you think about how authentic they are with their expression, what beautiful contributors to the community they are. I love my muse. They're beautiful people, beautiful musicians, and they bring the community together. I felt like something is going to change in the world from this kind of music coming through. They embody the feminine voice and it's a beautiful thing to hear. And it was wonderful to hear them on Prairie Home Companion. Very thrilling. They've just gone all the way to the top. Part of why I feel so nourished in this mm. connection, in this collaboration, is mm -hmm. the freedom to move with intuition and to not know why, but it just feels good. Mm. And I don't know, I'm a real believer in that life is alive and that we're alive and then each of us beings are alive. And um, yeah, yeah, I'm a real believer in magic. and. That's my motivation, it's magic. <laughs> if you really knew me, <laughs> that's my real motivation, yeah. is to live alive and to live in a magical way. And I forget, and then we come together mm. and continue to do what we do, and I'm re-inspired and re-alive in my heart. And, uh... <laughs>